Hello everybody, I'm GHC and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at a very easy and simple entity GUI. It's going to be a short video today because it's really easy to create your own entity GUI or at least to create the own uh, entity GUI listener. I'm not actually going to show you how to make the GUI because I've already showed that in another video. But to get started you just need to create an event handler and as you can see I created a new plugin of course and I uh, registered the listeners just to the main class and the event handler and then public avoid on player interact entity and it's gonna be a player interact entity event and of course I always call my event E just like that and that's actually it uh, you just need to check if, uh, let's say, uh, e.get right-clicked is instance of, um, let's say, zombie. Zombie. And then what we can do is we can get the player. We can also get uh, .set cancel to true, just in case. And uh, we can do e. Uh, wait, we can do the player p. p equals e.get player. And then we can do uh, inventory inv equals bucket dot create inventory and null and with the size of nine and just the title zombie inventory. And then of course we need to open the inventory of the zombie. So inventory inv. It's not actually the zombie's inventory. It's just a uh, a uh, empty inventory with the name zombie inventory and that's actually it it's as easy as that to create your own of course you can check if the zombie has a custom name attached to it and then you can spawn a zombie without uh, AI so that it will remain on the same place and look in the same direction with a name above its head you can even use this for villagers whatever you want it's really easy and I'm gonna show this on the server now see you over there so we're inside Minecraft now start up the server and let's go take a look at our very simple GUI. So I've already prepared a zombie. It's on a chicken. I it just randomly spawned. It was the first uh, one I uh, got from the egg. So I thought why not keep it. And as you can see if I now right click the zombie. It will open a zombie inventory. Of course if you put anything in here. It will just vanish. Uh, but you can just do whatever you want. You can click. Uh, you can do a, uh, a inventory click listener. If you do not know how to do this. Check my uh, videos about the inventory GUI I already made. And that's it for today's episode. Really easy. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comments. Or go to the description box and click on the Discord link. And thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>